Let's have a look at rail. There is a range of vehicle options including streetcars, light rail vehicles, and subway trains. Subway trains tend to be used in urban centers larger than London because they are designed to move large numbers of people. Streetcars, like the ones used in Toronto, are smaller and travel in mixed traffic in the same lanes as cars, so they face the challenge of being caught in traffic. They carry close to 100 passengers. New streetcar models are low floor, with the doorway close to level, with an accessible boarding platform, making entry easier for people in wheelchairs and strollers. Light rail trains, or LRTs, are larger. One car may carry up to 250 people, close to double found in a streetcar. Several LRTs can be coupled together to carry close to 1,000 people. LRTs normally run on a dedicated lane to ensure they are on time and can move quickly. In major urban centers, they can operate on a schedule of one LRT every three minutes. The LRT system, being built in Waterloo Region, plans to run a train every eight minutes and will feature travel times that compete with cars. A five kilometer trip is expected to take 10 minutes. The cost to build the rail lines and electrical power system is more than bus rapid transit. Construction, including the track and power system, is at least $30 million per kilometer, and LRTs cost at least $4 million per vehicle. They are powered by electricity and produce lower emissions in greenhouse gases. Modern light rail trains have low floors, so people with accessibility issues walk or stroll from a slightly raised platform directly onto the vehicle floor. They will provide a modern, comfortable ride.